Okay, today we're going to embroider on a handkerchief. Not easy, but I'm going to show you how I do it. Other people may do it differently. Machine embroider, and it's really delicate handkerchiefs, so they're really thin. So we're going to play around and see what we can do to make this a nice job. So we're starting off with the first thing we're going to do is show you a few things. Now this is something called a light fusible tearaway. Got it right here. You can see the sticker on it. It has a really sticky side to it and it's a tearaway. So you take it to your iron, you iron it on, you could heat press it to, whatever it takes. Um, you're going to do that, which I've already done, and I'll show you that. Then we're going to hoop it. So there it is. There's your handkerchief with your stabilizer, which is your tearaway. Now we're going to use the fast frame system with sticky back. So that's like having a double tear away. And we're going to use that and show you that in just a second. We'll be right back. Okay, next, let me show you a trick. Okay, here's our fast frames right here. Showing it to you right here, fast frames. Here is your tear away, which is your sticky back tear away. We're going to put that on this frame. Now the key is when you cut it, it's sort of hard to get it off there. One side is going to be real sticky, and I'll show you that. So just make a little crease, a little crease at the end of the corner. That's going to help you to get that off there a lot easier. Crease it on the corner, crease it on the corner, and then unfold it, and then with your fingernail or a pin or whatever you want to use, it'll come off a lot simpler. And when you do get to it, what you're going to do is you're going to just I had a portion that was already done. There it is. And just take it off. And then you're going to put it onto your frame. Which we're going to do. And then we'll show you how we set that up. We'll be right back. Okay, here's your fast frame. I wanted to show you something and zoom in on it. On the fast frames, they always have this little... Right in here. This little V. Okay. We're going to take that corner because we're doing a corner um, logo or it's going to just be a letter. That's all it's going to be. A little uh, monogram letter. Uh, we're going to stick the tip of that handkerchief or if it was a napkin or whatever right in there. And we're going to make it, that's going to be our spot for the center there. And this tip is going to go right in there. I'm going to show you that after I get to the next stage but I wanted to zoom in and show you that. We're going to lay it in there and then we're going to make some marks on the side which I'll show you next and you'll see how I set it up. So that's coming up next. Okay, let's take a look at what I've done. I've set it up and I'm ready to go. So in that little V-notch, I put the corner as you can see here. Made a couple pieces of masking tape or any type of tape that you can see along the sides here. So you know you're going to pull it up to that point and you're going to pull it up right there and right there and you're going to go into production and this person wants 20 of these so I've got to do a whole bunch of different ones with different initials on there so this is the setup we're going to mass produce some handkerchiefs that's coming up next we'll show you it's going to be a quick little thing we'll see how it turns out and this is just one of the ways we can do it we can also hoop it and I'll talk to you about that in just a little bit Okay, we're going to get this going. It's going to be a really quick video. There's only one letter. Most people just want a little dainty thing or something on their um, handkerchiefs. This is just one little letter. So it ain't going to take long. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, this is just a handkerchief I had laying around, so it's not quite the kind of handkerchief you probably may be using. Uh, people supply your handkerchiefs, all different types, so you just have to adapt to what they're giving you. And sometimes on something like this, you may be able to just use the sticky back and get away with it. So this one I put the sticky back, and also, as you can see, I showed you how to use some of that um, stabilizer, a tearaway stabilizer that is a um, 
adhesive stabilizer or a fusible, what they call a fusible stabilizer. So we're doubling up the tearaway that way and I'm hoping it's going to turn out nice. That's it. We're done. Let's take a look at it. We'll be right back. So there it is. We're going to just tear that away and then tear back that uh, fusible stabilizer and take a look at it. See if we had a lot of pucker or what's going on. Okay, I've taken another corner. We'll try again. This time, we're just using the sticky back. Let's see what it turns out like that way and then compare. So now, no fusible to worry about and tear away and it sticks. It's hard to get off. You know, sometimes you can get away without using that fusible. Uh, so, here it is and I'll show you how to do that. There's our hole that we pulled off from the last one. So you just get another piece of sticky back, put it on the back, fills up that hole. Put your next handkerchief on there and you're ready to go. Fast, easy, high production. It's probably going to be a lot faster to tear it away and it'll probably look just as good because it's just one letter that you're embroidering. So sometimes just stick you back on a tear away may work great. So let's do this one and then we'll get them back. So here's the second corner we're doing and we're just using the sticky back. So we'll see how this turns out in comparison to the one where we use the fusible tear away and the sticky back. Remember it's just one letter so it's going to be quick and fast. I just wanted to show you and talk about it a little bit. Remember, I always iron my irons and use an iron to iron the corners of the actual hanger tip to get it nice and flat. And then, of course, when I'm done, I'll also go back there and iron the corners or iron the whole hanger tip, make it look really nice. Or you can press it if you got a heat press. That works too. So either way, they make them look really nice, and then fold them up. Uh, for a great presentation. These are great for weddings. These are great for gifts. There's a baseball team that wants these. They want 20 of them. For all the people, all the ladies on the team, I guess. And there we are. Let's take a look. Okay, I've got it on the uh, ironing board. And I've ironed it. And this is the one with just the sticky back. So there it is, just a sticky back. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, right in the corner there. And sometimes you'll see them with flowers and all sorts of things. There's plenty of things you can do. Matters what the napkin is, how the person wants it done. I've seen it also down in the corners here, down at the bottom in a straight line. It's whatever the customer really wants to do. Um, that's basically what you're going to do. If they want a little dainier, of course you can make it a little smaller. Um, this one has some ridges here. On the side here, on this side. And that makes me put it up just a little higher. I didn't want to put it down in these ridges. Um, so just on this one, that's the way I did it. It matters what the napkin is or the uh, actual handkerchief. Okay, let's take a look at the other one. Okay, here's the other one where we use the two pairs of two pieces of tearaway, right? You got the fusible tearaway that you fused onto the back, and then we also use the sticky back, which is a tearaway also. So two pieces. Uh, in this case, um, 
to me they're pretty pretty close because it's just one little letter I could have got away with just using the um, basically the sticky back tear away and that would have worked fine it would have gone a lot faster and I like to take off which is very be very careful because it's very easy to put holes in these really thin uh, handkerchiefs but I like to take away almost all the backing all the tear away backing so you have to pick it through there and be very careful with it and that it takes time to do that if you leave it in there and you can see through these it doesn't look as good I don't think but it's your personal opinion um, try both get one of these handkerchiefs do all corners try it out see what works best for you you can also hoop these you know so uh, maybe you can hoop it and then make your adjustment in the hoop to bring it up just a little higher so it is possible to hoop them and uh, so you can do that also I uh, just showed you the way that I personally like to do them and uh, of course there's plenty of other ways you could try so don't be afraid to get a few of these and play around with them I'm just showing you a few tricks we'll see you next time I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel thank you very much for hanging out with me today and we'll see you next time on the embroidery to you channel